What's up, y'all? It's Justin Brook from AdSkills.com and AgentSkills.ai. Today, I've got a treat for you. I want to show you how to turn any YouTube channel into your personal coach, right? So this is Vexian. He is a legend in the YouTube space, a guy that I've been watching a lot of his content. I've already gotten permission from him, by the way. Uh, built him an AI chatbot through all of this. Uh, he's a guy that I'm studying. This channel uh, is new for him, but he has built major channels. He's one of the guys that the top guys come to for YouTube strategy. So I've been studying him on how to build up my channel. And instead of having to try and ask him questions all the time, I decided, well, I'll just turn all of his strategies into my own chatbot. That way I can ask questions anytime I want for free. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now with a tool called Notebook LM. You can do this with any channel and you can just make your own chatbot, make your own coach on any topic and just start learning. So let me show you how to do that right now. Then what you're going to do is you're going to open up a new tab and you're going to type in notebooklm.google.com and it's all free. If you have a Gmail account, you already have access to this. You just have to go there. It's really simple. You're just going to click create a new notebook. And then you're going to start dragging sources in here. You can see you can drag Google Docs, slides, websites, YouTubes, copy text. So what I want to do is I want to add a bunch of YouTube sources in here. So here's one of the first videos. We'll go ahead and insert that one. It's going to start grabbing the context of that one. And I'm just going to repeat. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and grab another one. Grab this URL. And some of these uh, videos don't make sense. So we just got to click on add a new source, YouTube, paste, and it's gonna grab all these different uh, transcripts and it's to start making more and more context about these. So let me kind of fast forward and just add a bunch of these into here and I'll be right back. Whew, okay, all right. <laughs> so I've just loaded in 53 or 52 of his videos in here and so because YouTube is owned by Google and Notebook LM is owned by Google, it can just grab the transcripts and knows that they're in here. And there's two things that I would do now, all right? So first, we're just gonna test it. And I'm gonna say, you know, like, what metrics should I track for YouTube uh, growth, all right? And then it's gonna basically ping all of his knowledge and it's going to tell me, based on all of his knowledge, what metrics I should track for my YouTube growth. And then the, the next thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to add this audio podcast feature, right? It says, generate an AI podcast based on your sources. And what that's going to do is when I cl click that button, it's going to summarize all of his knowledge into one 10 to 20 minute long, rather entertaining two-person AI podcast where it's introducing a topic and then the second person is asking questions and they're going back and forth. And so that's how I kind of brute force learn things is I get all of their knowledge in there and then I summarize all the knowledge with the podcast thing. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, but first, it looks like it's got its answer back here. Okay, to achieve YouTube growth, it is crucial to track a variety of metrics that provide insights into content performance, audience engagement, channel health. These metrics help in understanding what resonates with viewers and optimizing your strategy. So views, yeah, we got that. But really what I was looking for is I already know that average view duration and click-through rate are kind of the two big ones and kind of the, the new metric and, and really what this guy is bringing, has been bringing to the table with his one of 10 company is this, uh, this outlier metric here. Uh, where is it? Yeah, the outlier score. An outlier score measures a video's performance relative to the channel's average or more accurately, a five video moving average. This helps identify videos that significantly overperform and can be a source of inspiration for future content. So, I mean, this thing's great. You can ask it whatever question you want. It's like having your own coach in, in your pocket right now. And they have a great mobile app where you can use this literally in your pocket. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hit this little audio overview and it's going to help us make a little podcast. This usually takes anywhere from, you know, five to as long as 20 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and press pause while we wait for that to finish. All right, it's finished. Uh, let's see how long it is. I'll we'll go ahead and, to yeah, 22 minutes and 43 seconds decoding YouTube. So it just took all of his knowledge, summarized the best points and put it into a nice entertaining 
podcast for me. And it has this little interactive mode, so you can kind of like ask questions and it'll change up the podcast. That way you can get like more customized knowledge into that little podcast. And not like that's downloadable as an MP3. You can share it, you can upload it, you can make your own podcast out of this stuff. I mean, it's just wonderful what can be done here. So this is the simple free way to do this. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna show you how to turn this into an actual AI chatbot that you can embed and then you can ask it questions at any time instead of having to come in here into Notebook LM and, and use this. So let's go ahead and show you how to build that next. Okay, so this is Mind Studio. <clears throat> Mind Studio is like NAN or Make, and it allows you to build really complex workflows or full agentic uh, agents. But I find it to be way, way easier. You can grab a free account and jump into. My Studio University, there's a tons of free education in here. Let me just show you how easy it is to build a full on embeddable agent chatbot using Mind Studio. So if I go into my builds here, um, you know, let me see here. Here's all the different agents that I've got. But the one that we want to go to is the one that I built called Vexbot. Okay. It works very similar to Notebook LM. So if you just want to use Notebook LM and create a free version for yourself, cool it's going to be totally useful if you want to create something that's embeddable so you can put it in a members area you can put it on your website then you're going to want to use something like mind studio so that you can actually publish this and put it out there for other people to use so i could put them on my website you know on my home page if i wanted to i could put them behind a paywall in a courses members area you can put them after an email opt-in like there's a lot of things you can do but you can embed them inside of your websites and that's what really makes these chatbots good which, which is what makes them better than like just using notebook lm all right so this is vexbot uh to build a chatbot you need three kind of pieces right you need the the data that you're going to train it on so what i did is transcribed all of his youtube content you can see here 127,000 words it's his first 59 videos and so just uploaded all of these, uh, so I went and transcribed them, created text files. I used Manus to just go grab all the content. Uh, Manus is like another advanced level chat GPT or Claude. I used that to just go to his channel, grab the transcripts for every single video. It gave me a text file for everything. You can see that over here. Yeah, you can see that right here. It went and grabbed me all of the different text files. All I said is, can Manus grab the transcript? Yes. All right, I need the transcripts of every video. It went and grabbed me all the, the files. So then I put all those files into here, downloaded them, just uploaded them into here. Very simple stuff. Then what you need is you need an input. Now, the first input I like to add to put in here, just to kind of customize my chat bots a little bit, I like to ask the user if they're a beginner or an expert. But when you're creating a user input, you just hit this little plus sign here. It's going to create another user input. And I'll show you what we do with that here in a second. But um, I chose text choice and then just name the, the variable. I'll explain why here in a second. Experience. And then what level are you? We will customize your answers to be for beginners or experts, choose wisely, right? So it's gonna say, what level are you? Beginner, expert, we will customize your answers to be for beginners or experts, choose wisely. This way it gives, uh, changes the language of, of the answers just a little bit to, to fit those uh, different types. I feel like it adds more value, especially to the, to the experience the user gets. All right, then the third part, all right, is you actually need the automation. Now, the cool part about building chatbots is they're super easy. You know, it's not much to put in here, right? So you have your start, start and end block that normally come in here. I delete the end block, and I just go in down here into view all blocks, and I hit chat, right? So you got your start, and then you got your chat, and then you got your user input, right? So you just hit plus user input. Now the user input, you're just gonna hit plus and then you can add more user inputs. If you want them to be in a sequence, you know, if you wanna grab more information so it can really customize the answers, uh, you can add more user input uh, blocks in here and it will ask each one in a, in a row, but then you also have to come in here and make more uh, user input boxes. All right, so then um, you know, all I did is hit the little plus sign, add the experience in there. So now when you start it, First thing it's gonna do 
is it's going to do the user input. That's the what level are you. Then we go to the chat. You want to customize this a little bit. You want to give it kind of like a hello message, you know. And then I like to create three conversation starters. And I'll explain why in just a second because the way it looks once the hello message is there, there's a couple starters down there. The main questions people are going to ask over and over again. And that way they can just click them and it starts. And it allows somebody without having to know how to prompt or ask questions or anything to just get started just by clicking a button. So it just makes it really easy. And then you have your system prompt. This is the bread and butter here, you know. Um, the system prompt is what you need to write out your whole, it's the engine of how your chatbot works, how it answers. That's why I'm not on there right now. It's a little bit proprietary information. Um, there's a lot of hard work thinking through how do I want this chatbot to sound? What do I want them to do when this type of question is answered and that type of question is answered? Um, what do you do if you can't answer the question? What do you do if somebody asks a question that's not on the topic of uh, the person's channel or you know course content? Like there's a lot of if then scenarios, you know the the voice and all those different things. And so the system prompt is writing out all that uh, explanation of how you want the bot to actually work. That's the main work. All right, then you're gonna choose your model, right? I like to choose, now there's a bunch of different models. In it. This is one of the reasons why I really love uh, Mind Studios. If I wanted, I could go down here and I could choose Grok. Grok's a great model. Quen's a good model. You got all the chat GPT models in here. Uh, I think five was in here. Yeah, GPT-5 is in here. Um, the open source ones, Llama from Facebook, all the Google ones. Uh, you know, you got all the Claude, Claude point 4.1, uh, Amazon. You, you, yeah, you got all the different models in here. Uh, but for me, specifically for chatbots, because that's a kind of a, a thinking and a reasoning, I like to use DeepSeek for that. It's a good reasoning model. There are other good reasoning models, but DeepSeek is also only 55 cents per million tokens. And so that's like 55 cents per hundred thousand words or something like that. so it's super super cheap to run this chat bot you know so that's why i like to use this one whereas claude is three dollars per million tokens and then if you use the latest version of claude it's like fifteen dollars per latest so anyways i just like to use DeepSeek. it's smart it's a thinking reasoning model and it's really cheap to use and then what you're going to do is now it'll default to one on here i just like to slide it down to six and that just means you know this this slider right here is just how consistent is it going to give you the same answer to the same question? You know, so if you want it to always give the same answer to the same question, drop it down all the way. I like to have a, cre a little bit of variance. And then here's where you're going to choose how long you want the response to be. You can go all the way up to 6,000 words and, you know, somebody will ask a question and it'll write them a whole essay. Most users don't want that. Most users are going to want somewhere between 200 and 600 words. And so I just like to try and keep mine around 500 words. All right, so let's go ahead and use this chat bot now so you can see what the experience is like. So all I'm going to do is hit publish now that everything is built. And then it's going to give me a little button down here where I can open it up. All right, I don't know why it flashed on that screen there for a second. But uh, all right, so it says, what level are you, beginner or expert? We will customize your answers to be for beginners or experts. Choose wisely. So I'm just going to jump over here to beginner. And then, like I said, this is the customized welcome message. I, you know, this chat bot is for a YouTube strategist. I grow channels, ask me anything. And then here's the little, um, you know, one click answers that I added in there. Right. So if we want to grow a YouTube channel, let's go ahead and say, what metrics should I track? And then what it's going to do is it's going to use that reasoning model. It's going to be thinking. And then as it's thinking about the answer, it's going to all of those transcripts that we uploaded. That's how we trained this chat bot to answer the way the expert would. And that's what makes this different from a chat GPT or a Claude is it's your personal information, your expertise answering these questions, not just general experience or general best practices. All right, we can see here it's, it's telling us exactly 
what metrics to go for and what benchmarks we need, average view duration, click-through rate, revenue per mil, and then the bonus, the 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 bonus, the Vexian special interest and virality metrics. Yeah, so you can see that this is definitely trained on his specific expertise, which is different than just asking questions into, you know, ChatGPT or a Claude or something like that. Let me show you uh, how to embed this thing once you're ready. All right, so you're going to want to come in here and in the metadata, you know, I just made some images uh, using AI and stuff. Agent name, short description, couple images in here. And the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you go in here to access and embedding and you wanna enable the embed and now you have this little code that you can copy and you can paste that anywhere. You know, if you have Kajabi or Thrivecard or Samcard, whatever you're using for your members area, you can put this chatbot in your members area and now you've got you know everything you need to have kind of like an AI coach version of yourself in there. Um, I would say don't do this for other people's content and then put it in your members area. I'm sure that's illegal and breaks all kinds of copyright. But if you want to turn your YouTube channel uh, or your courses into an AI chatbot, then this is how you would do this. Or you could make this free. You can, this would be an amazing uh, lead magnet. That's what Vexian is using this for. Is he's just making this a lead gen thing. You get free access into your email. And now you can just ask questions from the GOAT at any time. All right. So that is how to build a, an AI chatbot fully from the ground up. If you want to do a free one with Notebook LM like I showed you. Or if you want to create... Uh, a full-on embeddable chatbot using Mind Studio. I'm Justin Brooke from AdSkills.com and AgentSkills.ai. I'll see you. Bye.